Is it time to buy or sell Intel stock? In this video, we will explore Intel in detail. Our initial report was published on our website on Friday, the 6th of September, 2024, and we are here to provide you with an even more comprehensive analysis. Remember to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay informed about our latest analyses. You don't want to miss any essential updates that could affect your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool, powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Harness the capabilities of AI and receive free price predictions and in-depth analysis for anyone among 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be interpreted as financial advice. Since the 6th of September, 2024, our system has ranked Intel as a sell candidate, assigning it a score of negative 1.42. Now, let's examine the stock's performance during this time frame. We will continue to monitor this evaluation to see how it develops in the upcoming days. The stock is currently positioned within a broad and declining trend in the short term, indicating further potential decreases ahead. The current three-month trend forecasts a potential decrease of approximately 37.88% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from negative 55.17% to negative 14.69%. Looking at the 12-month trend, it suggests a decline of around 31.10% over the next year, with a possible return between negative 36.97% and positive 41.01%. This could result in a price range of approximately $11.91 to $26.64 after one year. Our latest daily update for Intel includes the headline, Intel stock downgraded to sell candidate. The Intel stock price decreased by 2.63% on the last trading day, which was Friday, the 6th of September, 2024, falling from $19.40 to $18.89. This marks the fourth consecutive day of decline. On the last trading day, the stock exhibited a fluctuation of 4.51%, with a low of $18.64 and a high of $19.48. Over the past 10 days, the price has dropped in seven instances, amounting to a decrease of 6.02% during this period. The trading volume increased by 24 million shares on the last day, although this occurred alongside declining prices. This may serve as an early warning sign, indicating a slight increase in risk over the next couple of days. In total, 89 million shares were traded, with an approximate value of $1.67 billion. In the past 52 weeks, the stock reached a peak price of $51.28, while the lowest price was $18.64. Currently, the price is 63.16%, or $32.39, below the 52-week high, and 72.74%, .74 or $50.40, below the all-time high reached on January 24, 2020, when the price peaked at $69.29. Intel Corporation is making headlines as former IBM chairman Sam Palmisano suggests that the tech giant needs a strategic overhaul regarding its chip-making and design operations. This advice comes amid significant challenges for Intel, highlighted by its stock reaching a 10-year low today, driven by broader economic concerns, particularly after United States job growth fell short of expectations. Furthermore, Qualcomm is reportedly interested in acquiring parts of Intel's chip design business, signaling a potential shift in market dynamics and competitive positioning within the semiconductor industry. Intel is also exploring the possibility of selling its stake in Mobileye, the autonomous vehicle technology company as part of a broader strategy to streamline operations and enhance its financial health. The market's reaction has been pointed, with Mobileye's stock experiencing a decline in response to these revelations. In the short term, these developments may increase volatility around Intel's stock price, 
as uncertainty and investor sentiment fluctuate. Long-term implications could be more significant. If Intel successfully revises its strategy and addresses its operational inefficiencies, it could stabilize and eventually improve its market positioning. However, failure to adapt could lead to further declines as competition intensifies. Analyst Ratings On Friday, the 16th of August, 2024, it was reported that KeyBank assigned Intel a sector weight grade with a hold action. On the same day, Cantor Fitzgerald rated Intel as overweight with a hold action. On Monday, the 5th of August, 2024, Goldman Sachs issued a buy grade for Intel, also with a hold action. On that same Monday, RBC Capital provided Intel with a sector perform grade, although they downgraded their previous rating. Additionally, BMO Capital gave Intel a market perform grade with a hold action on that day. Analysts have assigned Intel stock a general sell rating. They classify the price to earnings ratio as a buy and the price to book ratio also as a buy. Regarding return on investment, the analysts have issued a strong sell rating for the stock. The following signals have been identified for Intel. Furthermore, there is a buy signal from the three-month moving average convergence divergence, or MACD. Some negative signals have also been issued, which may influence the short-term outlook. The Intel stock currently shows sell signals from both short-term and long-term moving averages, suggesting a more pessimistic forecast for the stock. Additionally, a general sell signal arises from the relationship between these two indicators, with the long-term average positioned above the short-term average. In the event of upward corrections, there will be resistance at the levels of $19.94 and $23.44. A breakthrough above any of these thresholds will trigger buy signals. A sell signal was noted from a pivot top point on Friday, the 30th of August, 2024, and thus far, the stock has declined by 14.29%. Further declines are anticipated until a new bottom pivot is established. Yesterday, trading volume increased alongside falling prices. This could serve as an early warning, suggesting that closer monitoring of the stock is advisable. Here are some additional signals you might find intriguing. Moving average convergence divergence, buy signal, pivots, sell signal observed five days ago, Bollinger, Buy signal noted one day ago. Short-term moving average, buy signal registered six days ago. Long-term moving average, sell signal detected 33 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 29 days ago. Upon examining the 12-month chart, we observe. Short moving average, buy signal noted six days ago. Long-term moving average, buy signal recorded 112 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages indicated a buy signal 120 days ago. Remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us if you wish to explore more signals. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Intel Currently, there is no support from accumulated volume below today's level. If conditions are unfavorable, the stock may experience significant declines in the coming days. This stock typically exhibits average daily movements, and with sufficient trading volume, the associated risk is deemed to be medium. Over the past day, the stock fluctuated 84 cents between its high and low, representing a change of 4.51%. In the past week, the stock demonstrated an average daily volatility of 5.15%. Before we dive into the potential trading levels for Intel, Let's quickly review some essential fundamental data. First, we have the price to earnings ratio, commonly known as the PE ratio. This important ratio measures a company's current share price in relation to its earnings per share. A high PE ratio may indicate that the stock is overvalued or that investors are anticipating significant growth rates in the future. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for the third quarter of 2024 is anticipated on the 24th of October, 2024. Analysts' consensus estimates are at negative three cents. It's important to keep an eye on these figures as they can have a substantial impact on stock prices. 
Now let's discuss some potential day trading levels for Intel. In the event of an upward trend, the first resistance level for Intel is at $20.10. If you do not currently own any shares, you might consider waiting for this level to be surpassed before entering a position. For those who already hold the stock, this could be a crucial level to evaluate for swing trading opportunities. There is no significant support from accumulated volume below this level, which suggests that the stock could potentially decline sharply under certain circumstances. Therefore, it is advisable to proceed with caution and consider making moves only if you are an experienced trader familiar with navigating such situations. The combined average rating for Intel from multiple analyst sources indicates a sell recommendation. Now let's examine some recent insider trades. The five most recent insider trades were conducted by Goel Scott, who bought and sold a total of 9,888 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we find the insider power to be positive, with a ratio of 1.739. In total, insiders purchased 450,195 shares and sold 428,883 shares in these last 100 trades. We currently hold a negative evaluation for this stock and a stop loss has not been established. Is Intel stock a good buy? Intel exhibits several concerning indicators and is currently situated within a broad and declining trend. Consequently, we anticipate that its performance will remain weak in the coming days or weeks. Thus, we have a negative assessment of this stock. Due to minor weaknesses in the technical outlook, we have adjusted our analysis from a hold or accumulate recommendation to a sell candidate since our last evaluation. Upon reviewing the volatility and trading patterns from the previous day, our analysis indicates that the current price is undervalued. For trading on Monday, the 9th of September, we expect Intel to open up approximately 11 cents and begin trading at $19. We remind you that trading involves a significant risk of losing money, and it is advisable to consult with a financial advisor before making any decisions regarding the purchase or sale of securities. It is important not to base your investment decisions solely on the information provided by StockInvest.us. By utilizing this information, you acknowledge and accept responsibility for your own investment choices. This is our current view of the stock. Do you agree or disagree? Please share your thoughts in the comments. What target do you have in mind for the stock? Remember to like and subscribe. We wish you successful trading and hope you have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.